Good morning, my name is Samuel Bob, and I am a member of the St. Helens Christian Mission Church. God is concerned about the care and nurturing of children. Deuteronomy 6 verse 1 to 9 expresses this deep concern. Reading Now these are the commandments of the statutes and judgments which the Lord your God commanded you to do, that ye might possess the land where you go, that thou mightest fear the Lord God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee. Thou and thy son and thy son's sons all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it that it may be well with thee, and that he might increase mightily, as the Lord has promised thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently, unto thy children, and shall talk of them when thou sittest down in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou layest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house, and on thy gates. God instructs his people urging them be responsible in instructing their families in the knowledge of wisdom of his word. These instructions were not limited to an hour or two a week. God said, talk about these commandments when you sit at home, when you walk on the road, when you lay down, and when you get up. Instill God's laws in your children's lives, and they will not depart from it. Nurturing children in the faith is a way of life. Teachers show children how to cultivate their words. Parents and grandparents provide safe and happy homes in which children grow. Social workers step into broken families to show love towards broken children. Jesus shows his heart for children by welcoming them and blessing them. He taught everyone the importance of caring for children. As we see, when the mothers of Salem brought their children to Jesus and the disciples tried to chase them away, Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come out to me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. All of us must ensure that we teach our children the ways of the Lord so that they will grow up to become honest and responsible adults.